He's going Peach this time. Last time he did go Diddy. Just letting you know. So uh, really? Yeah. I've never seen the Ling Diddy. Yeah, you, you'll probably never see it again. Ho hopefully not <laughs> today. But it is going to be Peach versus Sephiroth in game one here. This is a best of three, remind you, for a uh, qualifier for top eight. So some of the things that uh, probably make this uh, matchup annoying for Peach is the range for Sephiroth. So yes. easy to keep uh, Peach out. Yeah, no, as a Peach player myself, um, basically, Sephiroth's sword makes it super hard. It, unlike many other characters, is like, he doesn't have to commit as hard. But once you get in, yeah. you mess him up. I mean, Peach is one of the best uh, characters in the corner, so un unsurprising there that once you get uh, Sephiroth in a disadvantage state, that you're going to be all good. And Ling is doing all right so far. Only 11% taking the first stock. Yeah, no, doing a phenomenal job. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like he does have a plan. Yeah, for sure. I mean, spacing around Sephiroth's aerial so far pretty well, but finding himself off stage, and this is could be a pretty great edge guard situation for first, but not able to get it there. All right, waiting for the air dodge, but was not able to convert right there. And first is definitely looking for something. This yeah. link came out swinging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Definitely not getting the looks that he was used to in the first stock, but now I think maybe adjusting to the spacing. Trying to get an edge guard, yeah. Sephiroth with so many options to just threaten over there, and Ling is doing a great job of recovering so far. Yeah, great air dodge up to grab the ledge. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. And I, we, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Ling in the corner for a little bit. But as as Connecticut players know, Ling is so good in the corner, offensively and defensively, so good at getting out of situations and putting people in those situations. Yeah, but wasn't not able to get out of that situation. Only 34% to burst. And yeah. this is where it gets kind of hard to link, but he manages to get in. Yeah, gets in and uh, gets out because Burst yeah. getting a grab right there. Yeah. Oh, got the auto cancel version. Oh my god, and he's got the side B on him. This could be dangerous. Yeah. Okay, what can Burst get off this? This could be dangerous, the counter! Yeah. Peach no is fine jump. here. Okay, good job. He had no jump, so almost all the resources was burned right there. Yeah, really smart to use the side B to get out to get out early, so you, you weren't having to force yourself into an up B early uh, that Burst could punish. But yeah, now he's got Burst in a similar situation on the left side of the screen. Hits him with the turnip. Another one. Yeah, caught, caught him with the turnip throw down. But yeah, it's not enough to take it. He's got to find a back air here. I mean, a Peach Classic in the corner, man. Yeah. She's so good like fighting out of the corner and so good at fighting you into the corner. Mm. But Burst making it back to center stage here, looking for some aerial pressure here on Ling Shield, but neither of them sh throwing out any options, actually. Just uh, tiptoeing around each other until Ling gets that turn up and gets the near edge guard. Okay, tried to get a cheesy kill right there. And Ling, again, doing, as I said before, just doing a phenomenal job. He's getting in and then out. Yep, in and out. That's all you got to do uh, as as Peach in this matchup. Just you know, get your two hits, get a better position, and then try to get the next hit in, in a better one. Oh, the down tilt. That's a lot of percent here for Ling. And following up with the up air, another back air, 70%. He's already got wing. Wow, this is so quick. Yeah, 88% now. He's just stacking on. Yeah, Ling has been lethal in the corner so far. Wow. Hey, and that's really impressive because... Sephiroth is one of the characters that's really good in the corner, too. Yeah. Testament to how much Ling is put into this matchup. Especially when in the past it has been a problem matchup for him. All right. We're back to neutral. The back air is not going to do it, but one more of those surely will do it if Burst can find it. But Ling has been so elusive in the corner. F-Tilt not going to do it, but that back air will. Okay. And he still has wing, as you see. So... It's definitely going to be hard. Oh, Ling with the grab there. Back throw is going to send first off stage. It's going to be so tough for him to get off. He's doing a lot of those up Bs to the ledge, but Ling is not uh, biting at them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dash attack, going to do it right there. Seth Roth, a light -like character, as light as all of Really? Which, yeah, yeah, which is crazy. That is that is a crazy comparison. Yeah. Because I always knew Sephiroth was light, but like I didn't think. Nah, Olimar he's all my light. light. Yeah. That's wild.
All right, let's see what uh, – <laughs> I'm not going to say his name. I was going to say it. It's Burst. It's Burst. It's just Burst, man. Let's see what he's got for game two. Maybe a stage uh, stage difference here. Yeah. Um, and I think this is maybe I'm correct or I'm wrong. Chat, correct me. I think that is the first game Ling has ta ever taken from Burst. Ever? Yeah. Wow. So this is. And to see him play that well, like that was dominant. Yeah. So that was that's pretty impressive to see. That's the first game he's taken from yeah. him. I, I love that Ling is has instead of, you know, in the past he's tried to change the matchup, you know, try to avoid it. Instead he's gone, he's gone, put in the hard hours, and uh and now it's working out for him. Let's see if he can close it out with a 2-0. If not, first might be able to close out the set, considering, you know, he usually wins it. Okay, huh. yeah, and Ling just doing a good job just knowing what Burst wants to be. Yeah, for sure. I mean, has a very good read on his movement so far. And he's moving around the aerial so well. Like, I feel like usually what we're used to with Sephiroth is, hit, you know, hitting hitting your shield, you know, getting safe pressure. But Ling just maneuvering around it so cleverly. And I, it's really impressive to see. All right. Great. Great job. Just, and, yeah, again, he's just in and out, as we were saying before and just pa punishing the bad space aerials. If he spaces it really good, he's like, okay, I'm just gonna back off. And you eventually have to make a mistake. You can't be, not gonna be perfect with all your spacing 100% of the time. Nobody is. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Ling definitely exploiting every every single bad spacing that Burst has. He's just in the right amount of space to make it so that when he's he messes up, he's right there to hit him. Yeah. It's really impressive. And all right, but let's see. Yeah. No, you go on. Okay. What makes it even worse right now is Burst is not able to gain momentum or pressure. So he missed that roll earlier mm. basically because it's like he, it hasn't been his turn for so long. Mm. So like these minute mistakes just stack up more and more. Yeah, for sure. All right. Let's see if he can close it out with a ledge trap situation here. Baiting out the air dodge and now he's got a side B. I think he's just going to float on the stage. Not even worried about that at all. Yeah, Peach Flow just allows her to get out of that situation right there. I wish Falco had a, had, a, had a Peach Flow sometimes, but <laughs> I hate that move. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the back air is going to do it. This is a much closer game than game one, game, uh, game one but Link still has the advantage and a grab into the up air. Nope, not going to get there, and uh, first gets back to center stage. All right, just good job respecting the dare right there. Mm. Yeah, and, and pulling a turn up whenever he can, too, is, is really nice. Yeah, you I know. know. Whenever it, Burst backs off too much, he's like, I'll take a turn up. That's fine. <laughs> That's yeah. fine by me. Yeah, no, he's just he's catching Burst. And what's even crazier is, like, he's trying to contest Sephiroth's ledge hang, which he has the second best ledge hang in the game, right behind Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. So not a lot of characters can pressure, and he Stitch has to sit right there. Yeah, and because of the because of the turnips, you can actually you know contest it because it's it's a hitbox that yeah. you can throw down, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. continually putting that pressure. I, I that, that was a really good catch there. Oh my god, going for the down yeah. smash is it going to work? And is going to get punished to the ump degree. Yeah, punish by Ling's F smash of his own. Okay, shit, thought he was gonna pull the trigger a bit earlier. First, just not confident. Yeah, he's definitely never seen this this good of a play from Ling. Who maybe was it maybe got a little bit complacent when he saw the bracket. Maybe yeah. he was like, Oh, this guy's never taking a game off of me. Yeah. But uh Ling showing him why he needed to be feared, needed to be practiced more. He's definitely like saying this is not gonna be as free as it was before. Mm hmm For sure. But it's definitely not over for at all. But Burst is going to have to get this stock as soon as possible to make sure that he keeps the gap between Ling as small as he can. Oh my god, the, the pressure here has been so hard for Ling to get off the ledge. He just keeps right resetting the ledge. Oh, but the up tilt right there, just catching the spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Very nice from Burst. To even up the game at zeros apiece, this could be a game three situation for Burst, or it could be a just straight 2-0. Let's see who will do it. That's a great start for Burst. Let's find out. Okay, good job. Yeah. Just I'm holding out there. Dude, oh my god. 
All right, this is, this is a little bit of momentum for Burst, getting two forward airs in a row, but doesn't lead to anything. And now we're back to center stage, playing neutral. Yeah, getting the grab combo right there. Just a little bit of one, two. Oh, thought Ling was going to swing, but Ling with a with a spot dodge instead. Yeah, he's looking. He's playing, looking for each other's defensive option, but caught the recovery right there with the down B. Very great from Burst. <laughs> that was like, a, what, 54? That was so, that was so early. I didn't yeah. want to say anything, but nah, I was like, I mean, damn, that move is strong. Yeah, you can say something, but... Uh, also, I was just, I just mentioned it a little bit. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to see it here again. Ling just getting reversed off stage, loses the stage positioning, gets hit by a back air, and then Burst positioning himself perfectly in place to get that counter yeah. and did, to take it to a game three. Yeah, did a little beer verse with it, too. Ooh. I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah, I thought it was just a regular turnaround, but no. Uh, okay, in the air, you need to do a beer race right there. Oh, okay. So, okay, we're getting FD too. So, this can go really good or really bad. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried for Ling, but uh, let's see how it plays out. So, um, Ling does love FD. I will. Yeah. Like, I would like to say that yeah, this it, is a personal favorite of his. Yeah, it is a really good Peach stage. I um, may clarify, but. Peach does have a trouble landing. Mm. And if Burst does catch on to Ling's landing habits, it can get really bad. Yeah. I, I think what is important for Ling to remember is to just stick to the game plan that you had that you had game one and then just, you know, keep adjusting to what to what Burst is doing. You know, he has been spacing and he's been maneuvering around so well. He just needs to make sure that he keeps his game plan and doesn't lose his his head in this situation. Alright. Board throw off ledge. All right, can he get this turn up edge guard? Wasn't able to quite do it, and Burst is able to make it back to center stage. And is piling on the pressure right here. Catches an air dodge. This could be bad for Ling. Girly one, but... Does he have up. a jump? No, he did not have a jump. That was all the resources right there. Oh my god. Oh. Again, Burst getting punished for going for down smash. Yeah. Burst is just committing to these options so early. Yeah, and, and when they work, it's great, but when they when they don't, you know, it, it's really been punished hard by Ling. He's, like we said, he's always in a position to punish any bad option from Burst. So, um, yeah, let's see what what kooky option that Burst has for, for us next. But it's going to be a straightforward error, something, something uh, nat natty there. Yeah, but fair from Ling is going to take it, and guess what's in his hand once again. Another stitch face, but he just throws it away, Burst able to avoid it. Oh my god, Burst in, not able to find the finishing blow on this stock, which could be a huge swing if Ling is able to pile on the percent. Alright, fourth. Barrett is going to be out. Dash attack, just laying the pressure. <laughs> the only thing Burst is able to hit Ling with is that turnip right there. Ling playing such good defense right now. Just barely getting the spacing on that dash attack too. Yeah, max space dash attack, really hard to punish out of shield, so... Yeah, for sure. All right. How long is Ling going to take this stock getting 63% extra credit and has been at 150% for a very long time now? All right. Oh! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Didn't have a float there and uh, was was trying to stall it out, but the up B got, got clipped and uh, Burst evens up the stocks, but not the percents here. Almost 100% yeah. on Burst. Yeah, and again with those down smashes, it has not worked once. And his jumps are getting called out by these fairs, by Ling. I, I have a feeling the down smash might be the set decider. <laughs> like he's going to go in for it in last stock, if it goes to last stock, last hit. All right, but then again, more turnip pressure at the ledge here. Oh my god, was that might, maybe a shield poke? Maybe dropped his shield? I think it's shield poke. Yeah, very fortunate there for Burst that he was able to reversal that situation. And now, a favorable position for Burst. All right. Oh! to sneak in that back air out of nowhere. Yeah, very clever there from Ling. He is one stock away from punching his ticket into top eight. Can he do it or will Burst have something to say here? I like the down air. He uh, didn't show that option at all in the set so far. Back air. Oh, misspaced it. Yeah, clipped by the parasail there. Very fortunate there for Ling. Given another chance on life, that could have been a very early stock for Burst, but not quite. Yeah. Okay, just trying to attack on more pressure. Oh my god, yeah. Mr. Saturn. The luck is in Ling's hands right now, but he's just going to be uh, walking on the stage for now. 
I feel like he's going to come into play. Uh -oh. I lied, not. Okay, this Maybe could... for Burst. Maybe for Burst. This could be huge. Oh, now it's Lings. They're just playing past the Saturn. Yeah. And this is game three. And best of three, guys. Oh, my God. This could go down to the wire 100% for Burst. And like you said, Sephiroth is very light. They're... The next two hits could do it. And you see Burst is playing super scared. He's, yeah, he really does not want to make any mistakes right now because he knows his next could be his downfall. The forward air is going to do it, and Ling punches his ticket into top eight over his first ever set win yeah. versus Burst. And he was happy about that. He popped off. Yeah, you rarely see him emote right there. Dude, I never see Ling yeah. show emotion unless it's sadness after a loss, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Ling. All right. All right. So, two... I'm going to say light CT, but two CT players. Yes. Are they, are they going up against each other? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. But, um, yeah. Oh, unfortunate there for Ling that he has to go up against light since he has like a 95 record against yeah. him. It's it, ridiculous. It's bad. It's, it's, bad. it's messed up. But, but guess what? He, he, just he can be, do it. Yeah, he just he can beat Burst. Exactly. Ling is proving that uh, no matter how bad your record is for a player, as long as you have faith and you, as long as you have a game plan, you yeah. can do it. You have enough heart. <laughs> yeah, all you need is and, and the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look yeah, at that! We pop got the pop off. off right there. Oh, that was such a relief there from Ling. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we have 